Hey everyone, this is part 3 of our kimono bear tutorial. Let's get started. Let's make the arms. So this is the arm with the sleeve on it. We're going to make the arm first and then we're going to make the sleeve. So you'll need your main body color. And we're going to make a magic ring with six single crochets. Next we're going to do an increase round and we're going to increase from 6 stitches to 9 stitches by increasing on every multiple of 3. So in the first stitch we single crochet 1, 2, and increase for 3, 4, Five, and increase for six, seven, eight, and increase for nine. Next we're going to go four rounds where we just single crochet one in every stitch. So single crochet 36 stitches or four rows of nine stitches. Alright, so I've come to the end of my four rounds and I'm going to slip stitch and chain one to finish off. And you can use the tails to stuff the arm. Let's make the sleeve and you'll need your main kimono color and also your border color. So starting with your main kimono color, we need to make a magic ring with, you guessed it, six single crochets! Next we're going to do an increase round and we're going to increase from 6 stitches to 12 stitches by increasing in every stitch. So we single crochet 1 and increase for 2, 3 and increase for 4, 5 and increase for 6, 7 and increase for 8, 9, and increase for 10, 11, and increase for 12. Next we're going to do an increase round and we're going to increase from 12 stitches to 18 stitches by increasing on every multiple of 3. So in the first stitch we single crochet 1, 2, and increase for three, four, five, and increase for six. Now repeat that pattern four more times until you have 18 stitches. Next we're going to do another increase round and we're going to increase from 18 stitches to 24 stitches by increasing on every multiple of four. So we single crochet one, two, three, and increase for four, five, six, seven, and increase for eight. Now repeat that pattern four more times until you have 24 stitches. Alright, so I've come to the end of my round. Now we're going to do one round where we just single crochet one in every stitch. So single crochet 24. Alright, I'm not quite at the end of my round. I'm about 20 stitches in, but we're about to change colors. So I need to take my border color 
and I'm going to take that yarn tail and place it between my hook and my, my working yarn and finish out the round weaving in that yarn. So this is 21, 22, 23, and for 24 I'm going to pull through with blue but yarn over and pull through with cream to change to cream. Now we're going to single crochet one in every stitch for the next two rounds or 48 stitches. Okay, so I've come to the end of my two rounds and I can slip stitch and chain one to finish off. And I'm going to cut my tail. It doesn't need to be super long, just long enough that I can thread it through my tapestry needle and weave it in to hide it. And the way I'm going to hide this is just kind of sew it through the middle of, of all of the stitches so that it's not visible really from either side. Or if you have a pattern on your kimono, make sure that you do that pattern on the sleeves as well. I recommend starting in the very middle of the sleeve. That way uh, you can't really tell where the middle of the sleeve is. If you're not doing a pattern, you can just skip it. And this is my final pattern. Now let's put the arm in the sleeve. You need to fold your sleeve about a third of the way down and wrap it around the arm so that the tip of the arm is just visible. And make sure that you have a right arm and a left arm because since it's not perfectly folded in half, we're gonna have a right and a left arm. Using the yarn tail from your sleeve, sew the top of the arm shut. You don't have to worry about them being two different colors of yarn. Nobody's gonna see the top of the arm. And now we're going to sew the arm into the sleeve. And the way we're gonna do that is we're actually going to go through the stitches so that the stitches aren't visible from the outside of the sleeve. And then you can sew all the way into the arm. So you sew halfway through the sleeve stitches and then all the way through the arm. And then do that around the perimeter of the sleeve, or sorry, around the perimeter of the arm. And now we have our arms. Let's pin them in place. If you're doing the girl version, it's good to put them kind of angled downward towards the front. Uh, it's a very kind of elegant hands clasped in the front pose. If you're doing the boy version, you can just have the arms kind of down towards the side. Kind of like a, I don't know what to do with my hands kind of situation for any of you who have seen that Talladega Nights movie. <laughs> Anyway, so for sewing on the arms, there really is no technique. It's similar to the bow on the obi. It's, it's kind of cumbersome to do, and really all you wanna do is get it attached and make sure that you don't have any visible stitches on the outside. So the, the side that's facing the body is gonna be kind of ugly, but as long as it's not having any visible stitches on the outside, you're fine. Let's make the shoes. So the shoes have two parts, the socks and the sandals. And we're going to start by making the socks. So you need your cream colored yarn. And we are going to make a magic ring with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And now we're going to increase from four stitches to eight stitches by increasing in every stitch. One, 
and increase for two, three, and increase for four, five, and increase for six, seven, and increase for eight. And we're gonna slip stitch and chain one to finish off. And now we're gonna thread whatever color you want to be the straps for the sandals through your tapestry needle. And we're actually gonna do this design onto the sock. So bring your needle out through the just below the center. And we're gonna make kind of a Y pattern. So we're gonna wrap it around the front and bring it back through that same stitch just below the center. And then we're gonna bring it up around the side And then we're gonna wrap it down under around the other side and bring it up over the other side to make a Y pattern. And then once you have that, you can cut your yarn tails and tie them off. Make sure the ties are on the bottom portion that will be sewed to the sandal. Next, let's make the sandal and you'll need your brown yarn. And we're gonna make a magic ring with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Next, we're gonna do an increase round and we're gonna increase from five stitches to 10 stitches by increasing in every stitch. So in the first stitch, we single crochet one and increase for two, three, and increase for four, five, and increase for six, seven, and increase for eight, nine, and increase for ten. And we're done, so we can slip stitch and chain one to finish off and cut a little bit of a tail so that you can use it to sew. Now we're gonna use our brown tail to sew the sandal to the sock. And we're just gonna sew it doing a running stitch, which is just going in and out. Um, you don't have to worry about your stitches being visible on the top of the sock because it will be covered by the body. So don't worry about that. All right, so here are our completed shoes. Now let's pin them in place and sew them on. And I didn't get really good footage of the sewing or the pinning, I'm sorry. So the sewing is also one of those things where it was just really cumbersome to do. Um, you use your white yarn tail to sew them on and really wherever you can get a stitch, that's where you do get a stitch. The only place where you avoid is the um, colored part of the sandals. So you don't want to get a stitch on there, but you know, if you can, wherever you can get a stitch, as long as you can get the shoes attached, you're good. Just try to avoid having visible stitches. And test it to see if it stands. Success. And this is it. This is our finished bear and a kimono. As a reminder, you can do this pattern with any of my other patterns that follow my standard head and body. Also, don't forget to go check out Billy Matsunaga's channel and be sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.